We're gonna be talking today about twist locks versus flip locks on tripods. So if you're debating on buying a tripod right now, what one you should go with, please watch this. Finish it through. I think I might make you a convert. I think I, think I could do it. I think I can. All right, the first thing we're gonna start out with, I have owned both a twist lock system and a flip lock system. And I'm going to give you three reasons on why flip lock are superior. First one is when you use the twist locks, while there might be some really, really good ones and expensive ones that have a seal on them, if you are shooting on the beach, if you're shooting in dirt, if you're shooting in, if you ever put your tripod in the water in rivers, little dirt and sand particles can get up in those threads. And when you twist to lock it, you'll feel that grit and it'll grind on the threads. And the only way to get it out is to take the whole thing apart, wash them underwater, dry them off, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. But the damage is done. Once you've gone in there and you've twisted it and those, the rocks or the sand or whatever has grinded into your threads, they will always have some type of issues. I currently still have one and every time I twist the lock it, it just feels gritty and grinds. It's never smooth anymore. I just know that that's just how it is now. Second reason why you should go with a flip lock system over a twist lock system is it is flip locks are faster. You can unlock it. You can set up your tripod and collapse your tripod way faster with flip locks. It's just a fact. It's way easier to flip something. What is it? 90 degrees, if that quarter of a turn, flip it and uh, lock it than it is to sit there and twist and crank on something to get it to lock. Now, the third reason you should go with flip locks over twist lock is if you've ever used a twist lock system, you'll be familiar with this. You get your tripod all set up, you're ready to shoot, and you put your camera on it, and all of a sudden one leg starts sinking because you didn't twist it hard enough, and then you gotta go through all your legs, you gotta go down all three or four and make sure each one is tightened. Flip locks, if that ever happens, it's really easy. You look down, and there's a little flip lock that isn't flipped down, and that's it, it's easy. You just go over, you flip it, and it's locked again. I'm going to give you two reasons why I think some people who have some twisted minds came up with the twisted lock. The first being flip lock, I don't think will handle impacts as well as twist lock. So if you're out hiking around and you smack your tripod on a rock or a fence or whatever it is, the flip lock will more easily break than a twist lock would. The second reason is the, you know, the sagging head with the twist lock. Well, flip locks over time can get a little loose. And so when you set up your stuff, one flip lock can sometimes sag. It will start to go back into the tripod, uh, even though it's flipped close. Now, most companies, I personally use Benro, but I'm sure CRU or you know, Peak or all these other companies probably are coming out with the same idea. There is a tool that literally clips onto the tripod and you just pull it off, give the little screw a quarter or half turn and your flip lock is as good as new. I've owned this tripod for about four years and I have only had to tighten it, I think two or three times. That's it, out in the field and it's super easy, takes less than a minute. Uh, if you found this helpful, like, subscribe, peace out, thank you.